to select all of them and uh, now press R to rotate the whole thing rotate it 90 degrees press G to grab and try to match a thing to our books press S to scale it up let's try to let's try to focus on the this left side yeah G to grab and try uh, to move it to match your your books I think this is just about right for me doesn't have to be exact you just need to see all these signs okay now A to deselect B for box selection tool and select the right part of a mesh we can say now G to grab and just move it down you can select single vertex here press G to grab and move it move it a little bit okay I'm happy with this so I will press enter and on the left side I have to deselect go out of edit mode and go to camera view press F12 to render and that's what we've got it looks almost like my my real books on my shelf so I have no reason not to be happy with this <laughs> uh, if you if you just eventually wanted to make it more realistic you know there's a, a few other ways how to do it how to do this um, easier but I just like to do it this way you can still you just need to play with uh, with this and you will you will see what's going to happen yeah this is what I like so F12 one more time and get yeah yeah 100% uh, no reasons to be not happy with this alright so uh, 7 to go to the top view 5 to orthographic view press somewhere here add mesh another cube scale Y you already already know all these things scale X because you are following my tutorials so you are becoming experienced modelers S Z scale on Z axis move it down we are creating a shelf for our books now yeah and with this thing selected all right go to, let's go to the top view press uh, somewhere here add mesh plane scale the plane as much as you can press R to rotate X along this uh, X axis and rotate it 90 90 degrees I'll just type 90 90 point enter that's the best option this is like a back wall yeah for our thing so we're gonna give it some material add new with the back plane selected add new and go for just for fun put make it make it dark green yeah we'll select the shelf material add new under texture buttons add new select the texture icon go to go here select the image hold down the control load select the same images we are using for our for our cabinet for our coffee table so for me it's this one all right x repeat to uh, y repeat to materials map input to cube press enter go to your camera view select the plane because you see it doesn't match doesn't cover the whole uh, camera view so scale X scale Z move it down in our camera view okay scale X again scale Z again we just want to cover a whole camera view and now press F12 to render 
and see our wooden shelf you see our green wall All right just one more thing go to seven press somewhere here somewhere here add a lamp hammy and creating the same lighting conditions for our models something like that make it yellow more yellow easy and it gives us very nice very realistic and uh, most of all very personal effects in our books yeah so we, uh, if you are uh, doing interior design of your books you probably want to your room the main room to reflect your personality somehow so if you like gardening you probably gonna have like a pictures of flowers everywhere if you like martial arts the mr. Bruce Lee is gonna be there for sure that's for sure and uh, yeah, it's, it's, just, it's all up to you I'm just trying to give you an like a basic idea a basic direction how to do that how to do things yeah so I hope it helped you and um, I, I really just can't wait uh, see the results of the people who are really maybe it's gonna be just one person I hope it, that it's gonna be at least one who's following all my tutorials in order to make a model of of a room and I just can't wait to see a result from you so if you are one of these people or if you are the only one who's following my tutorials please do not let me down and show me what you what you have made yeah <laughs> it will be very nice to see a result from people uh, because uh, uh, me as a beginner uh, making uh, tutorials for people uh, it makes me feel very very good and you are uh, sometimes people you are giving me positive comments so yeah so nice all right guys back to reality back to the world we have done this one, this thing, and uh, I'll be back soon. We are gonna be creating in the next chapter. We're gonna be creating simple vase for our as interior accessories for our room, and I think then it's probably the time to create actually our room, including floor and ceiling, ceiling and doors. We need we still need to do doors uh, window and some blinds for our window so it's gonna probably be vertical blinds and then we can put all our room together all right but uh, if you want to put our room together we need to uh, append or link our model so don't forget to save this for example this file to go by going to file save as and um, my documents, my blend, my 3D modeling blender, and I'll save this one as a books for tut. For me, it means books for tutorial. Yeah. 